Hello everyone. You might have come across this exciting new project called Lava, basically the open source equivalent to ChatGPT Vision. Uh, and from my testing, it had comparable results. And as you can see here, just a few hours ago, it actually got support for Llama CPP. This is great news for us on Apple Silicon. With Llama CPP, we'll be able to make use of quantized GGUF models, which will be smaller and will let us run on less memory. So let me give you guys a walkthrough on setting this up using Llama CPP. And because this is open source and we'll be running this on our own machines, everything will be private. If you're a little bit more curious, I'll also share the, the link to the PR that was merged to uh, Llama CPP. So if you don't have it already, let's go clone the repo first. So copy the the clone command. I'll open this up in VS Code. Let me open the readme for the Lava implementation. As you can see, the first thing we have to do is build Lava. And we can do so using CMake or just Make. Let me open up my terminal here and type make lava. This will go ahead and build it. And it should create a binary file in the same path called lava. There it is. Before we can start using this, we need to download the lava model. And in our case, the GGUF quantized version. And right now, there is a 7 billion and a 13 billion version. But according to the pull request and some tests, it seems like the 7 billion model performs better for whatever reason. So that's the one we're going to download. If you scroll up, the readme already has a link to the pre-converted GGUF files on Hugging Face. So let's go there. Let's navigate to the files and versions. And there's really two files that we need from here. Depending on your spec, you can either pick 4-bit or 5-bit model here. And we also need this multimodal projector file for Lava. So I'm going to download this one and this one. You can put the files really anywhere, but I put them in a folder called Models. As you can see, there is a two files there. And now let's take a look at the command to actually run this. There is a few more parameters that we can tack on here, and I'll give you guys an example. The first two points to the two files we just downloaded, and you have the image, and the two other parameters that we're interested in are the temperature and the actual prompt. So according to the people testing within the pull request, setting the temperature to 0.1 produced really accurate results. So I recommend adding 0.1 here. And, and by default, there is a prompt that says describe the image. But if you want a custom prompt, you can add the dash P and the prompt itself. So once this is all done and set up, the final command will look something like this. And before I go ahead and try this out, let me show you the image that I'm working with, this poster.png. And my prompt was asking for the primary color in this image. So let's see how it does. Oh, because of the standard out, you got to scroll up a little bit. So it does say here that the primary color is yellow, which is correct. So actually, let me go back and put in a different prompt now. This time, I'm also going to direct the standard out to dev null so we don't see it. All right, let's try this one out. So we're hoping to get line back here. Wow, that's actually amazing. I'll try one more prompt with this image. And this time I'm going to ask to figure out which production company this is. And really we're looking for Disney here as the answer. Give it a try. That's actually correct as well. And keep in mind guys, I'm on a M1 16 gigabyte Mac and this is producing amazing results. So let's try a different type of image. 
So this is Times Square, New York City. I'm going to ask it to simply describe this image. See what it comes up with. seems very descriptive and lengthy as well. Let's see if we can ask it to identify which city this might be. Well, as you can see guys, I'm having great luck with this. Very easy to set up and very capable. And with a little bit more time, I'm sure it'll get much better. So I'm sure most of us will be able to run this no problem. So give it a try and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys.